five, four, three, two, one. No, son. Just you get settled down for the night. Gosh, Dad, how can I settle down in all this excitement? Well, you'll just have to try. I've got to go over there and help at the fire. And I want to be sure you're safely tucked up in bed before I go. What's International Rescue doing, Dad? They're going to go down the shaft and bring up the men below. Now, that's enough questions. You be a good boy and get off to sleep. It's not as if you had a mother to look after you, so don't let me down. Good night, Chip. I just heard a newscast about the fire. Yeah, that was quite a place. get brains to stand by. I developed a fault in the electrical system when we were at the fire. All right, Virgil. Okay, brains, let's get it fixed at once. We can't afford to be unoperational. Uh, yes, Mr. Tracy.
Virgil, hold everything. Don't release the pot. On no account, release the pot. What's up? Contact Scott. We'll all rendezvous in Thunderbird 2 hangar. Yes, Father. Cut motors. Motors cut. All pumps down to zero. Inlet valves closed. Well, Virgil, what now? Oh, we'll just have to sit tight. Stay where you are, Scott. Cover the pod entrance when she comes down. Right. Okay, Virgil, release the pod and open the flap. There's a saboteur on board. A saboteur? Now, the flap. All right, we know you're in there. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. I didn't mean any harm. It shouldn't have happened. The aircraft shouldn't have been left unguarded. But, Father... No but, Scott. It shouldn't have happened and that's all there is to it. This constitutes a security hazard. We got a boy here at our base and he's got to be returned to his home. He's seen us all and he knows our location. Now perhaps you can suggest what we should do. Anybody got any bright ideas? No bright ideas? Okay, where's the boy now? Now Virgil's taking care of him. And I hope Virgil's keeping his mouth shut. It's enormous. Is this the machine you fly, Virgil? Oh, look, Chip, we've, we've got very strict security here. I, I can't tell you anything. Of course, I understand. You know, when I grow up, I want to be a member of International Rescue, except I'd like to fly Thunderbird 1. Why Thunderbird 1? Well, I, I imagine it's faster and, and more important. More important? Oh, look, without Thunderbird 2, none of the rescues would be possible. For example, take the time we went to save Eddie Hausman. Eddie was a partner in a powerful road construction company building a highway right through the heart of a mountain range. But progress on the road had been held up by a series of earth tremors, which brought a landslide onto the path they had cut through the mountain. Eddie, however, was not a guy to give in easily. He ignored warnings of further dangerous landslides and set off alone through the stormy night with a load of Newtonic charges, hoping to blast the mountain so that it fell away from the road instead of onto it. all the time. Hello, Eddie. Eddie, can you hear me? No word for half an hour. You'd better try again. Eddie. Eddie, this is Bob. Call in. Call in. No good. I guess we'll have to... Hi, Bob. This is Eddie. I planted the charges. Eddie! Then get out of there! That peak's cracking up! There'll be a landslide any minute. Well, I guess I'd better fire the charges now. You'll be too close. Get away from there. You kill yourself. The company isn't worth it. Eddie. Eddie, can you hear me? He cut off. He cut off.
hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. You did it! You're okay! Eddie, the cutting's in no danger now. We can see from here. Bob, listen. The blast took my tractor right to the edge. I can't get out. If I move to the door... The thing will overbalance. Okay, keep calm, Eddie. We're on our way. There's worse to come. I've still got a case of Newtomic charges on board. If this goes over the edge, I'm going to be blown sky high. <laughs> International Rescue. International Rescue. Come in, please. So we set off for the rescue zone. Scott racing ahead in Thunderbird 1 and myself close behind in Thunderbird 2. Thunderbird 2 from Thunderbird 1. Uh, glad to see you fellas. Now here's the situation, Virgil. Hey, pull away, Virgil. Your vertical jets are tipping it over. Hey, wait. I've got an idea. Now, if this works, Virgil, come straight in and grab him. Stand by, Virgil. FAB. Okay, Virgil, come in now. I'll take the strain. FAB, coming in now. Okay, Scott. We've got it. It's all yours. So you see, Chip, Eddie Hausman was saved. Another mission was successfully completed, and we set off for home. Gosh, I wish I'd been there. Oh, uh, Verge, Father wants to have a word with you in the lounge. Hmm? Oh, thanks. You take care of Chip, will you, fella? Thanks. I liked Virgil. He told me all about Thunderbird, too. Oh, he did, did he? Well, he shouldn't have. I'll tell you something, young fella. You'll get nothing out of me about Thunderbird 3. So you're the pilot of Thunderbird 3? Yeah. I'm the pilot of Thunderbird 3. Thunderbird 3. 
this is the spaceship. How fast does it travel? Well, it's a, it's a secret, you see. I'm afraid I can't tell you. But Virgil told me all about Thunderbird too. Well, he shouldn't have. I suppose being a spaceman, you don't get so involved in the rescue operations. Not so involved? Let me tell you, young fella, when this baby blasts out into space, I'm the one that's in charge. You remember that sun probe rocket that got out of control and started heading straight for the sun? And International Rescue had to go and save it? Yes. Go on. Well, everything was going according to plan. The Solonauts were preparing to go into orbit round the sun before releasing the probe. Orbital firing. 90 seconds. Right. How about those radiation figures, Camp? I have them, Frank. All at phase six. That's well. We're gonna be okay. 30 seconds to orbital firing. Stand by to fire retros. Orbital path. 10 seconds. Right. Stand by. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Retros. Correct orbit. Check radiation and temperature levels. Temperature, A-OK. -okay. Radiation, A-OK. -okay. 20 seconds to firing time for probe. All systems on probe are green. 10 seconds. Firing controls are go. 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Well, folks, the sun probe has been fired. We will give you all the details as they are received from the spaceship. The tension here in the studio mounts as we await further news. She's going fine. Straight for the prominence. Sun probe going through flare now. Standing by to fire remote control rockets. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Fire. It's coming out. She's turning. We've made it. Great. Let's get that probe. And then, back to Earth. We have just heard that the probe has collected the matter from a prominence. It is now on its way to rendezvous with the main ship. The solar nuts are in excellent condition. Wait, the probe is being collected now. Just look at this tell radio picture. Well, they pulled it off. I've got to hand it to them. They're great. I don't think they're going to make it. How's that? I said, I, I, I don't think they're going to make it. But everything's going fine. Hold it, folks. Something's gone wrong. In picking up the probe, the main ship has lost its course. The tracking stations report that the spaceship is heading on a collision course with the sun. <laughs> Time to waste. We launched Thunderbird 3. Blast off A OK. Leaving Earth's atmosphere in 10 seconds. OK, Alan, I'm coming up. See you later, Tintin. Yes, Scott. to go to crash into the sun it's like a nightmare yeah one i've had many times well there's still time we got a whole day before before we melt to nothing why doesn't earth do something 
solar module from International Rescue. Do you read me? Now I'm hearing things. I thought that was the radio. Come in, solar module. This is International Rescue. It is the radio. Yes, sir. <laughs> Solar modules of Thunderbird 3, where are you? Can you help us? We hope so. We're going to try to fire your retros from space. We're two hours away from calculated release area, Scott. Check. But the cabin temperature is increasing rapidly. We can't go much closer to them. Why not try it now? Okay. Well, at least we'll know how short we are of success. I heard that. Operating safety beam now. Negative. We're four hours short. Four hours? Well, that means we'll have to go much closer to the sun than was estimated. It looks like it. Are you sure you can't get any more out of the refrigeration plant? No, nothing's working anymore. Where's that rescue ship? It's nearly four hours since we're in contact with them. We daren't go much closer. The hull won't stand much more. Try the signal again, Tintin. Tintin, try the signal again. Yes. Try the signal again. It's still short. Can't you increase the power, Tintin? I can overrun the system up to about 0.5. Then do that, will you? We just can't go any closer. ship's breaking up. I figured I'd be dead before it happened. Reckon it won't be long now. Why am I still alive? Why isn't the module melting? Save that noise. It's the rocket motors. They fired! Asher, Cam, we're leaving the sun. We're gonna live. Okay, the solar ship's out of danger. Let's head for home. Just in time, I guess. I couldn't have said much more of this heat. Fire retros. some rescue operation. You certainly are a member of International Rescue. Ah, there you are, Chip. Hey, Alan. Father would like uh, a word with you. This is an impossible situation. Uh, Alan, how's the kid? Fine. 
I left him in Thunderbird 3 silo with Scott. Thunderbird 3 silo with Scott? And what was he doing there? Well, you, you see, Father... Yeah, I know. You didn't tell him a thing. Well, at least he's with Scott now. He won't get anything out of him. Gosh, Thunderbird 1. This is certainly a great machine. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Gee, I remember the first time I sat there on our first mission. You see, my brother John radioed in from the space station to say that Tintin's aircraft, the Firefly, had been sabotaged and couldn't land because a bomb had been placed in the landing gear. So I dashed off to London and set up my mobile control headquarters in the tower at the airfield. Now, let's recap. Fireflash has another 30 minutes before its radiation safety factor expires. Right. Now, the specialized gear that I require for the rescue will be here in 20 minutes, leaving us just 10 minutes to put our rescue into operation. Thunderbird 2, this is mobile control. Confirm estimated time of arrival, London Airport. Okay, Scott. Arriving in 19 and one half minutes from now. Now, as soon as you arrive, unload high-speed elevator car with two radio control subsidiaries, then proceed to end of runway 29 and report. Thunderbird 1, FAB. Fireflash, this is International Rescue Mobile Control. In approximately 18 minutes from now, I will request you to land using runway 29. You are to come in with landing gear up. Repeat, landing gear up. Make a completely normal approach and keep your head. Message understood. What's the action? Now listen carefully. We can't afford any mistakes. control from Fireflash. We have only five minutes left. Unless you can start rescue operation immediately. We've had it. Stand by, Fireflash. Thunderbird 2 from mobile control. Are you ready, Virgil? Mobile control and Fireflash. This is Thunderbird 2. I'm ready. Thunderbird 2 from Control, FAB. Control to Fireflash. Commence your approach, and good luck. After acknowledgement of this transmission, do not make any further calls. Whatever happens, keep this frequency clear. Roger, Control. Starting approach now. And however it turns out, thanks. Aircraft approaching glide path five miles to threshold. Stand by, Virgil. Fire flash on final approach. On glide path, rate of descent 500 feet a minute. Three and one half miles to threshold. Stand by, crash tenders. Crash tenders to center of runway 29. Roger. Two miles. Fire flash now one mile from threshold. Start tracking. Mobile control. FAB. Fire flash 500 yards from threshold. Airspeed 120 knots. Increase to 105. 105. FAB.
flash from Thunderbird 2. Got engines. Fire flash, lift port wing, lift port wing. Got power. Okay, fire flash, reverse thrust. And applying brakes down here. Applying maximum brakes. made it. Jolly good show, old boy. And what a show. Are you okay, Virgil? Okay, Scott. Good timing. Great, Virgil. Just great. Wow, that must have been exciting. I could picture the whole thing. You could? Uh, well, you just keep it to yourself, eh, fella? Oh, of, of course. Now all that's left is Thunderbird 4. Gosh, I, I really am looking forward to seeing that. Hey, not so fast. You hold on, young fella. You've been told too much already. And it's no good looking disappointed. The answer is no. Absolutely, definitely, no. <laughs> Thunderbird 4. It's quite small compared with the others. Maybe it is, but it's a very necessary part of international rescue. Yeah, but, but I suppose you're only involved in underwater rescues, like, like when someone's trapped in a submarine. That can't happen very often. Look, Chip, I'm involved in all types of rescues. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't tell you about them. Hey, I remember, like, like that one at Allington Bridge. You remember that? Oh, yeah. That sure was a tough one. Who'd have thought at the time that an underwater craft would have been used to save a Martian probe rocket? You see, the rocket was being transported to a site in England because this was the most suitable place for a launching to Mars. If the rocket were to miss its launching date, it would mean a wait of four years before the planet was in the right position again. Inside the nose cone, the two American engineers from Cape Kennedy had made their final preparations before the rocket was sent into space and were now on the last stage of the long journey to the launching site. Once we crossed the bridge, we're not far from the launch site. And boy, well, I'd be glad to get out and stretch my legs for a bit. <laughs> that everything is proceeding exactly to schedule. And let's hope that we're not the ones to ruin it, Clayton. You're not still on about that. You know as well as I do that this bridge can take the weight of this spacecraft easily. Now, for heaven's sake, let's not hear any more about it. The bridge can take the weight, okay, and evenly distributed traffic. And it can it in one solid mass.
Triangular Bridge was constructed 42 years ago as a link in the mighty North-South Superhighway. The transporting of the Martian probe rocket has caused a temporary diversion. Through traffic today is being directed over the Hollis Bridge. <laughs> Sunage indicator is at maximum. Lady Penelope, Lady Penelope, the bridge, uh, it, it's going to collapse. Look, it's going to collapse. We're not going to make it, Bill. We're not going to make it. Bill, do you know what's happened? The automatic countdown started. The impact must have started the countdown. We're gonna be blown to pieces. What do you plan to do when we get to the bridge, Brains? Oh, I, 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 I'm not sure. It'll depend on how bad it is. So they made their way to the bridge, and on arrival, Brains went up to the control room to assist in the rescue operation. At last, Thunderbirds arrived on the scene. Releasing pod now. Now, look, uh, this may sound uh, crazy, Gordon, but this is what I want you to do. You've got to get that nose cone clear by uh, uh, firing the missiles. He's still at it, poor fella. Seems to be under some delusion that he's in charge of the rescue. We're desperate enough even to listen to him. Yes, but he's just suggested they should fire missiles. <laughs> What are they trying to do? Blow us to pieces? They needn't bother. Look at the time now. Is the debris uh, clear yet, Gordon? Is it clear? I, I can't see yet. It's okay, Brains. She's clear. And, uh, then Thunderbird 2 can get them clear. I sort of doubt if it'll work, but it's my only suggestion. That's worth a try, Brains. Stand by, Virgil. <sighs> it's, uh, it's gone quiet again. They won't give up until the end. They're planning something.
They've done it. They've got the nose cone clear. <laughs> Bill, we're airborne. We're clear of the river. Yeah, with half a minute to spare. National Rescue had done it again. Look, Alan, I tell you, Father's really blowing his top. Well, don't look at me like that. Who showed him round Thunderbird 1? By the way, where's the kid now? I don't know. Don't ask me. What do you mean you don't know? Look, fellas, if that kid is roaming around the base on his own, Dad's gonna go berserk. Let's face it, we've given away too much information already. Now, let's start a search. Psst. Hey, fellas. Just take a look at this. Of course, a rescue operation of that size takes quite a lot of organizing. And you control everything from here? Yep, that's right. I control the whole works from here. I've only got to push one of these buttons and it's Thunderbirds are go. Yes, Chip, it's quite an organization. So what are we going to do? We have to get the boy back to his home and we have to prevent a security leak. Now, how do we do it? I've got it! Now then, Chip stowed away in England. That is almost directly on the other side of the world from our base here, right? Right. right? So instead of Chip being asleep in his home, he's been awake, and very much awake here at the base. Because when it's night in England, it's day here. So just now, Chip must be a very tired little boy, right? Right. right. Okay, now listen carefully. And this is what we're gonna do. We put Chip to bed, the kid has been awake for 24 hours, so he'll sleep like a log. Then we transfer his bed to Thunderbird 2. At top speed, we should be able to get him back to his home before dawn breaks. Now, the kid got out undetected, so you should be able to get him back undetected. Now, if all goes well and the operation is completed successfully, the boy will wake up in the morning and think that the whole thing has been a dream. Mr. Tracy? Oi, it's you, Dad. Hi, son. Just come in from the mine. That international rescue team were fantastic. Yeah. I know, Dad, and you should see that base and the Thunderbird machines. Wow! <laughs> You've been dreaming again, Chip. I suppose so, Dad. But it seems so real. Yeah. Dreams often seem just like the real thing. Thunderbird 2 to base. Mission successfully completed. Security hazard. Negative.